Hello my loves, it's Monica and today I am so excited because this is the start of a new reading vlog, book shopping vlog, extravaganza. I'm very excited. This weekend is independent bookstore day, like the celebration is actually tomorrow on Saturday, but I'm doing two back-to-back -back book shopping adventures with some pals. So today I'm meeting up with my friend Tasman and we are going to check out two bookstores in Brooklyn, Greenlight and Cafe Con Libros. We're also going to go to the Brooklyn Botanical garden of which I am a member now very exciting that is my plan for today and then tomorrow I'm also doing like a cute little bookstore crawl with my friend Cindy so lots of book shopping will be occurring I'm gonna try and hold myself in and not buy too many things fingers crossed we'll see how I do I am very much so running out of like space for books so I really do need to be careful. Hello Monica from the future here and I just wanted to take a second to give a big thank you to this video sponsor which is Book of the Month. So for the uninitiated, Book of the Month is a super popular and fast-growing online book service for readers and their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books they love. So the way that it works is that their team vets hundreds of books each month and then gives readers a curated selection of new and early release titles so you could spend and less time researching and more time reading. So this month there are actually three books that I'm very excited for. Two are like two of my most anticipated books of the year and then one I've just never heard of but it sounds fascinating. So first of all we have Yerba Buena by Nina LaCour. This is I believe Nina's first adult contemporary novel. She's a very beloved YA novelist and she writes a lot about queer girls and so this one is no exception. I believe we're also following a queer woman and my roommate Kaylee has read this one and really liked it so I've been very excited for it. And then one of my most anticipated books of the year I might need to bring, I'm about to literally hop on a flight after this, I might need to bring this one with me. Book of Night by Holly Black! Oh my goodness I'm so excited! I'm so hyped that this is in here because yeah this is another like adult debut for a YA author and I, I'm just so excited to read this. And then lastly, there's a book called Darling Girl, which is a Peter Pan retelling following Wendy, and it just sounds fascinating. I've never heard of this one before, so if any of you have read it, I would love to hear your thoughts. But yeah, very excited for all of this month's picks. If you want to learn more about the books that I mentioned or see all of the books for this month, I will have Book the Month linked down below. You can also use my code MONICA for to get your first book for just $9.99. But yeah, one of the things that I love so much about Book of the Month is that they have truly the best price for new release hardcover fiction. And if there is a month where you're just not feeling any of the selections, you can easily just skip that month and you won't be charged, which I also think is very important and amazing. So yes, thank you so much Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Now on to the rest of the vlog. So this is my outfit for today. I have this top which is from Target. Sweater vest is from And Other Stories. My bear bag, this is actually Shelly May bag from Tokyo Disney, but the little bow just fell off so I have to reattach that at some point. But little bear bag and then this pleated plaid skirt. And then I decided to be inspired by the new Rodarte collection that just came out. And I did a super, super long bow in the back of my head. I don't even know if you could see that. But yes, very excited about that. And then I'm just going to pair this with some Converse. So now I'm off because I'm definitely running late. You can definitely see the bow a bit better if I do this. So yes, just a super long bow in the back of my head. Hello. <laughs> I love everything. Yes. And I want them all. I want it all. She's a bad Oh, really? Yeah. Five. Oh, you're such a beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That cover. That is very cute. Okay, I'm absolutely obsessed with this cover. So cool. Someone's getting married at the garden. That's gonna be stunning. Also, 
how expensive was this? I gotta know. Also, I just think it's so cute, like all the people. I love this. Well, we have made it to Smorgasburg, unfortunately. Um, oh Smorgas. God, I love it. <laughs> you made a really good choice, Monica. <laughs> I'm so visually stimulated. Like, I don't know what to choose. Should I take that piece of concrete or that one? <laughs> Whoopsies, apparently it doesn't open until June, so we're gonna find a new option. <laughs> Matching dresses. Matching, but still different. <laughs> arrived at Powerhouse Books and we have an Elena! Oh, yay, it's me! <laughs> I'm obsessed with this cover. It's so cool. I love that. Amazing. So many. <laughs> I guess it's been a while. Together? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, it looks good. I'll do a close, a close one and then. Oh, that is actually cute. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Elena has no faith in us. Hello. So we have just finished up at bookstore number three. <laughs> <laughs> went to um why am I blinking books are magic books are magic <laughs> went to books are magic which was very busy very busy very very busy and it was the closing time <laughs> it was um and now we are on our way to get some dinner before we finish off the day at our last two bookshops <laughs> <laughs> we gotta gotta document first. <laughs> we are grabbing some yummy Thai food. But first we must document the Thai food. Dueling cameras. Elena, you look so pretty. 
Glowing in the <laughs> golden hour sunlight. Death stop in Carol Street. Wait, but the dildo thing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, too. <laughs> yeah. Cindy accidentally um she gained the system. She did game the system. <laughs> I was like, do you know who I am? I'm your sister. Um so yeah, we are ending off at Sunday for Fiction and I have many books that I will share with you later. And a dress. And a dress. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> Good morning my loves. It is the next day. I am home. Honestly, I got home pretty late last night, like around 9 p.m. or 8 p.m., um, which I guess isn't that late, but I've, I was out since 10 a.m., so I was exhausted when I got back. So I meant to do like a book haul and everything, but I just, instead I went to sleep. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna do that shortly, but right now I'm actually heading to the Botanic Garden with my friend Matthew. It is 740 and we are going there for opening, try and beat the crowd so that we can see the beautiful cherry blossoms. And I meant to dress casually, so I put on this sweatshirt and then I put on a selkie skirt uh, on the bottom and it has like a train. So, um, so much for casual. <laughs> Hello, so I've made it to the gardens and it's so beautiful. Um, happy to take in all the cherry blossoms before they're gone. Just waiting for Matthew. Also, you know you've made <laughs> a good outfit choice when you get in the Uber and they ask you if you're getting married. So, anyways. <laughs> Matthew looking so beautiful with the sunlight behind you and the and the flowers what a prince look at this <laughs> so this is the outfit of the day very casual sweatshirt fanny pack converse multi-layered organza skirt <laughs> what's not casual about this We've come to get bagels. I also got a fresh orange juice and a black and white for later. We got the same. <laughs> we got the same bagels. Um, this is Matthew's typical order. It's a pumpernickel with Waldorf chicken salad. I'm very excited. Hello. Okay, so I just got back, did a quick little outfit change, and I am now on my way to meet a friend that I made on TikTok slash Instagram. We're gonna hang out for the first time today, very excited, and it's a big garden day. We're gonna be going to the Central Park Conservatory, so I've got a bit of a trek ahead of me, but very excited because I've never been there before, so this is my little outfit of the day. Second outfit of the day. <laughs> All right, let's go. Park to the conservatory garden and it's so 
pretty here. I've never been before. I had no idea like just how magical this garden was and I'm super excited because I'm here with Alex. Hi! Yay! <laughs> um, very excited. First time meeting each other and both our first time at this garden actually, right? Yeah. What are your thoughts? I really love it. It's definitely like a gem yeah. in Central Park. Yeah, it's so pretty. You should all <laughs> check out Alex's Instagram oh and TikTok and her amazing store, Shiny by Nature. Thank Cutest you. clothes ever. I just placed an order. Very excited. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I'll see you in a bit. Do you want to be in my pic? What's your name? Hello my loves, so it's been a few days since my last vlog, but I just wanted to go ahead and wrap this video up by sharing some of the books that I purchased during the bookstore crawl extravaganza. I had so much fun just visiting all the bookstores. It was especially really cool getting to discover some new bookstores, specifically Quimby's, which I had never been to, never even heard of before, but it was so cool. It was the first, the first one that Cindy and I went to, and the, yeah, the space was just so amazing, and there were so many like zines and things to check out that it was like just like a little bit of a treasure hunt going in there so highly highly recommend checking out Quimby's um, I did end up getting all five bookstores that I wanted to so that meant I got a 25% off coupon for the month of May very exciting so at Quimby's first of all I picked up Parable of the so Sower by Octavia Butler um, I've actually never read any Octavia Butler and I've been wanting to rectify that so I'm really excited to have this one be my first. The reason why I picked this one up is because the first line of the synopsis I was just like this seems very like this book was written many many years ago and this seems very uh accurate. So the first line of the synopsis is, when global climate change and economic crises lead to social chaos in the early 2020s, California becomes full of dangers from pervasive water, water sourced, water shortage, shortage, oh my gosh, from pervasive water shortage to masses of vagabonds who will do anything to live to see another day. So yeah, just sounds very interesting, very good, very intrigued to see what this book is all about um, because I know that she is a very beloved author, so quite excited about this one. And then I ended up picking up two zines. One is You Can't Hug a Cloud, which is so cute. And then this other one, which is called Awesome Things, and it's literally just a list of awesome things <laughs> that the author loves, and I just thought that was really sweet. Then at Powerhouse Books in Dumbo, I picked up, I believe I got this there, A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. And this one is, um, follows multiple women throughout, like, Greek mythology, and my friend Matthew says that this is his favorite within that sort of, like, this sort of retelling trend that's currently happening or genre not trend but yeah this one is, is his favorite so i always take his recommendations very seriously so i had to pick this one up and then lastly at books are magic i really wanted to pick up a thriller novel i think it's like when i sleep i hold a knife or something like that um but they did not have it sad days but they did recommend to me this one which is finley donovan is killing it and apparently it's like a comedy thriller and it sounds really fun so i was like okay i'll get that one so <laughs> very excited for this since i have you here i guess i could do a quick little flip through of these zines because they are really cute so for example this is the awesome things one and one of the awesome things is when I realized while taking a chance on a new song, I've never done it karaoke, that indeed I do know that song, Case in Point, Everybody Wants You by Billy Squire. I just think that's really sweet. Just like lots of like really sweet little life things, so I love that. Um, and then this one, with You Can't Hug a Cloud, is kind of like a book about grief, and I just really connected with what the author was saying, so... Um, I picked this one up too, and I thought it was very sweet, so I'm excited to just have this one, have both of these, um, along with my new books. 